to start with the little action. All right? And so one thing we'll do a lot is we'll really work on that. You're going to bring it up. You're a guard. We want you to handle it. All right? And so in practice, let's start at the volleyball line. I'm going to guard you, and you're going to have to work on your handles, and then we're going to hit, hit the wing, and then you're going to cut off your point guard down to the block. All right? And so I'm going to guard you, and you've got to get used to it. You're going to enter the wing, and you're going to cut to the basket, a UCLA cut. All right? And so that's the first thing we want to do, is get him comfortable handling the ball, entering into our offense. Now, we're just a simple UCLA cut action to start. All right? But what this is, big guys aren't, they're used to being on this side of the screen, not the other side of the screen. So it's amazing how often early in the game we can get a quick layup. Boom, we just hit it. Likewise, our point guard, their guy who's really quick, a great defender, hopefully we've taken him out of the action. He's not harassing the ball. All right? And obviously, if, if they switch and try to get their guard, we'll, we'll flip it and we'll have our guard bring it up to court. All right? So this is our first option. We're looking for a little layup. Second option, we're going to go to our guard. It's going to pop up. And so now, we're kind of more of a traditional set. We've now got our point guard the ball to kind of really initiate what we want to do. All right? But he didn't have to work against a really quick kid to get the ball in the position to start the offense. So now... We have, me and my, my partner here, we call it playing a two-man game. All right? Specifically, we say this is drive drill, but now you're looking and we're playing together. And everything we want to do, we want to give options. And so you're going to read the defender. I'm going to read, I'm going to play the defender. And if I'm denying him here, we're going to take one dribble. You're going to go back cut and we're going to throw a bounce pass and we're going to get a dunk. All right? And again, when big guys aren't used to being on the perimeter and their, their coach is saying, hey, we got to get up into these guys. we got to turn them over. They're in passing lanes. You can dribble at people and get layups. So that's one option that we have. Well, we get burned next time. All right? You dribble at, I'm, like, I'm not getting dunked on again. I'm just dropping the sag. You're going to come get a handoff. All right? And now, again, we've got a little on big action, reverse of what typically it is. And now we're saying, all right, we've taught you how to attack. You're going to turn the corner. As we drive, we're sliding down to have vision for the three. We're rotating from block to block, and we're just in attack mode. We want to play. Very simple. And we want to see, how's that little guy going to guard the handoff? How's their big going to get through the handoff? All right, so that's an option that we might get to. We have our, our guard back with the ball. We dribble at him. He doesn't get to let your back cut. You don't get the layup. All right, we're going to fill to the wing, enter it to pass to the wing. Now, for me to stop the back cut, I had to be on the tops, the inside, to prevent it. So now, our post, now he's back where he's comfortable. He's posting up, but the guy has to be on the high side of him, the back side. You get position, we're going to give him, now we're getting him the ball in the post. All right, and now that's a high percentage shot we want to get. So we, we look at, he's got really three options here. He's going to play two-man game. I'm going to dribble at him. We can go back cut layup. We can go hand off they sag. We can go back cut post, we call it. And now he's posted up. All right?